everybody, welcome back. Um, if you hear noise in the background, my mom's cooking in the kitchen um, and she's cooking something good, so I can't wait. Um, so today we are gonna go over my whole TBR card. What, what I wanna read for, you know, the months coming and stuff so um, I can finish. Next week I'll do my wrap up, uh, my August wrap up of all the books I read. I read a total of eight books and I'll be going over that with you guys next week. Um, so the books that I got, some were ones that I've had on my TBR list and haven't read. Um, some were new ones that I have that I just haven't had a chance to get to, to it. So here we go, okay? So first book I have here is called Five Brothers by Penelope Douglas. Um, I don't know a lot about these books. I did went ahead and like I said, these are some books that were recommended that I saw on YouTube um, or you know, just browsing around the store or what's popular in TikTok, you know, that kind of thing and saw this going around. So I thought I'd pick it up, but sounds good. I heard from a friend that it was a good book. Um, I don't know anything about it. Like I said, I'm going in blind. And um, so yeah, so that's Five Brothers. So that will go up here. The other book I have, I've had for a long time on my shelf and I just needed to get it down. Most of my shelves are books that I haven't read. So, um, and this one, this one's uh, called In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. Um, I heard nothing but good things about this book supposed to be a suspense, a little bit of a thriller story. Um, I believe it's six friends, one college reunion, and one unsolved murder. So that's what this book is about. And it's called In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by, a by Ashley Winstead. So there's that one. Next book is, um, I believe this is the second book. Yes, it is. To the Prison prison healer and the gilded cage is next so and it's by Lynette Noni and I really liked her first book it was a great book I hear it's a great series so I'm it's only three books so I'm sure I can finish this and this in the third um, hopefully soon hopefully this this season so that's the gilded cage by Lynette Noni it's a good book well I haven't read that one you know the first one next book I'm excited to get into that I cannot wait to read and that is Chloe Walsh Saving Six um, I fell in love with Binding 13 I fell in love with the cast I fell in love with you know I mean, not the cast but the characters in the book and um, I, I just enjoyed it it was heart-wrenching it was um, I was crying so I'm glad to hear this you know his story and see what his story is about so, and I believe it's about Joey. So, that is The Boys of Tommen, uh, Saving Sex. So that will go in my TBR part. Next book I got um, here is called The Wedding People by Allison Ipscotch. Ipscotch, this is how you say it. I got this book because um, I felt that it was going to be one of those weddings, kind of like it reminded me when it was reading the synopsis in the back of our friends and uh, just getting together, going to a wedding where nobody knows you uh, and you're just having a good time. <laughs> Anyways, this book sounds funny. It sounds um, serious at the same time. So I can't wait to read this book. I've heard good things about it. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard any reviews on the book. But um, I am looking forward to reading this. And this is The Wedding People by Alice e. Epscott Spotch. <laughs> so that's gonna go down here. Next book I have is called The Witch Collector. It's a witch walker novel by Carissa, Charissa Weeks. Again, heard good things about this, good recommendations. Um, and so I went ahead and picked it up. And I'm excited to start the Witch Collector. Collector. <laughs> so I'll put that up here. Uh, next book I have is Leather and Lark. I did like Butcher and Blackbird. It was really good. So 
so I'm I'm gonna reread this again and then because I kind of forgot what was it you know it was all about and then start the leather and lark again I mean for the first time after I read this for the second time <laughs> Next book I have here is uh, by Jennifer L. Amintro and it's White Hot Kiss, uh, The Dark Elements. Um, I'm assuming it has to do with um, vampires, I think. And um, I guess he has one hot kiss. <laughs> no. And the name of the book is One Hot Kiss. I think it's a good book. I haven't heard anybody review anything on this, so I picked it up, and I hope it's a good read. She never usually lets me down. Next book is The Woven Kingdom. This is a Cinderella retelling, but I'm kind of interested. I just heard that it was a Cinderella retelling. I didn't, I, you know, I don't, I didn't read it, but um, I would like to see the, con the different concept and how they tell it in this book. So I got both of them, part one and part two. Part two is these infinite threads, and the author is Tari Mafa. Mafi? Or Mafa? Here, I bring it a little closer. And so, yeah, excited to read these two books this fall season. Um, I did get these two. I think the first one is None Shall Sleep. These are No Monster, Only People. So it sounds like a horror suspense. It was going around last year. Um, I think it was going around last year. Let me see, when was this published? Um, my glasses won't even let me pick it up. I think it was last year, I'm not sure. But um, everybody was liking this book, and then I picked up the second book, and that's Some Shall Break. And it's also by Ellie Marnie. And so hopefully, these two books will be good. Uh, next book I picked up, um, I got it because it was a pretty cover, and because I heard good things. But it is such a beautiful blue color with the glittering and the lettering and stuff it's just so cute and this is a hockey romance and it's called Puckin' Around by Emily Rath um, and again this was another TikTok book I was recommended and so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and see what the story is about I love sports romance sports romance is my favorite I love it Besides fantasy. Fantasy is also one of my great books. Next book we have is also, it's called Heartless Hunter, The Crimson Moth Book One. And um, I heard great things about this. I heard really great things um, on top of sports romance. I, I'm a fantasy girl. I love fantasy and can't wait to get my, get my eyeballs into this and start reading. And that is Heartless Hunter, The Deadliest Enemy or Her Greatest Love. So there's that. There's that one. Okay, next one I want to read really bad that I haven't got a chance to. And um, I heard nothing but good things about it as well. And this is Daughter of No, Wor no Worlds, the War, of, the War of Lost Hearts, Volume 1. And this is the same Clarissa Broadbent, the same one who did... Um, the Night Serpents, and oh, I forgot the title of the name of both uh, copies, but I'm sorry, but they were they were great. And they have a couple of novellas too, the other book does. But this one has its own series, so this one I believe has three books. And uh, Daughters of No Worlds is supposed to be a great book, um, a strong FMC, and um, I just can't wait to get to read this soon, hopefully. Another book I got that I've heard about the author, she's just wonderful. She knows how to tug at your heartstrings. And her name is Christine Hanna, and the book I got is The Nightingale. Um, I've heard nothing but beautiful things on this book. Uh, I, I hear it does make you cry, so I love books that make me cry, though. I just love it. It just makes it feel more... More amazing, I think. Um, anyway, so this is Nightingale, and it's by Christine Hanna. 
Next is a small romance by Elise Kova. The name is A Deal with the Elf King. Um, this has been sitting in my cart for a while, so this is another one that I want to get to um, as, as soon as possible, just to get it out of the cart and put into a bookshelf of the books that I have read. <laughs> this is Kennedy Ryan, and this is Before I Let You Go. I heard this was a good book about life topic, topics and about depression, about marriage, about sex, about just a little bit of everything and what happens and um, how to survive it, I guess. So I'm looking forward to this book. Um, those are things that I've heard that I picked up here and there. So I can't wait to read this one. And I also went ahead and picked up the second book. And this is This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan as well. So those are those two books. I just finished finished reading The Gram Effect, so I can't wait to get into The Dixon Rule. So I also have the part two from The Gram Effect, it's Dixon, The Dixon Rule. And um, I heard good things about it. I heard it was really spicy. Um, so just one of those college, you know, college boyfriend, girlfriend drama. Who liked who first, I guess. So yeah, that's The Dixon Rule. By L. Kennedy. The next two books that I like as well that I got together that I just got is My Dark Romeo and My Dark Desire. And they're both by L.J. Shine and Parker S. Huntington. And so I'm looking forward to reading these two books together. That goes into the cart. I also have by Bridget Kemier. Um, it's Defend the Dawn and Defy, Defy the Night. Um, here's Defy the Night. Not sure which one comes first. And Defend the Dawn. I also want to get Bridge Kingdom. I heard that one was a good one too. Fantasy as well. So there's that one and that one. So can't wait to read both these books. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books and stuff and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Okay, and next one I got to as well is, sorry, my lamp. Uh, and the lighting's kind of bad, so I hope you guys can bear with me. It's a little gloomy and I'm using natural light, so it's a little gloomy and cloudy outside. I think the sun's about to peek out though, so we'll see. Um, this is another book I got, A Love Letter to Whiskey, and I hear, I heard good things about it. Um, it's a love story, so, but it's a tearjerker, so, yay, can't wait to read this one. I'm put this down here. Um, a friend of mine got me this, which is the very first book, and it is Filthy Rich Vampire, and this is part one, and they also have Filthy Rich Fae, but they only have part one out right now so and that's the one that I read but I'm also wanting been wanting to read Filthy Rich Vampire as well so I can't wait to get into it I did love the writing I did love um and the author's name is Geneva Lee and um I enjoyed it it was great it was good you know so I, I I'd appreciate the richy filthy rich fay but I'm hoping this is just as good I do have one of my favorite authors, um, Ashley Poston, another, and it's a novel love story. I heard good things. Well, mixed reviews on this one, um, but I, I kind of go towards the good reviews to see what it is that they read. And you know, when you have your opinion, you can write whatever it is that, you know, if you disliked it or not, that's, that's totally fine. But I'm hoping this is a good book. I really liked her in the seven year slip and I really enjoyed it so I hope to enjoy this one just as much. So that's another love story, a novel love story. Also the other one I want to read is The Devil Wears Black by LJ Shine. Uh, I have another hockey romance I believe um, or ice skating. It's called Unsteady by Peyton Corinne. There's that one. 
Ooh, this one I want to read. I heard good things about. My friend also got me this one, and this is a Donna Bonix. Thanks, Mindy. I appreciate your support. I really enjoy getting you guys things, and 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 I enjoy also receiving. <laughs> it's fun. So yeah, a Dawn of Onyx. I heard it's good. I heard it's a great book. Um, I can't wait to read it, get into it, and buy the second book. So yeah, I can't remember what the second book is called. Um, Promise of Pyridot is what it's called. So get that and then I'll buy the second one. I did throw in a little bit of some romance. I threw in some Megan Quinn, Bridesmaid for Hire. Heard it was funny. Um, Happy Place, I haven't read it. Heard it was good also, so I can't wait to read. I love Emily Henry, she's just a wonderful writer. I love her, and so I can't wait to read Happy Place. Um, we also have one called Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy, and I really want to get into this one as well. They had, it's funny, they had a pink cover and a blue cover. I sold the blue cover on Pango, but I did keep the pink one because I thought the pink one was a lot prettier so yeah so I plan to get into that um mm, part two of the twisted crowns this is another one I want to read right away because I just finished um jeez ah, I have a bad memory right now I'm sorry guys but the first one I believe was dark window yeah and then this one's two twisted crowns can't wait to read that, part two. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. I'm starting this whole world. So I'm start on top of reading other books, but my most concentration is gonna be getting through the Crown of uh, Thorn of Glass saga. So the whole series, I'm gonna go ahead and try to concentrate on reading these books first and see how far I can get. Water. Anyway, uh, the next book is this one was also on my um, TBR list for a while, and um, it looks scary, and it looks creepy and mysterious. The deities you call aren't always the ones who answer. So this is called the Deer and the Dragon. And it's by Piper C. I love the color though. You see this teal, dark teal green paper. And yeah, so it's really pretty. So I can't wait to get into this. I don't know what it's about, but it looks interesting. Okay, next book is Hollow Heathens. Um, as heard, again, YouTube yes or one of those yes or no babies and they said this was a definite yes so this is the hollow heathens and i can't wait to jump into this into the fall and see what it's all about getting crowded over here i gotta turn my tbr around okay there you go so hollow heathens we're going here um, I got both of, because I haven't read it, Her Soul to Take by Harley LeGro, LeGroach. So there's that one. And then I also got part two, Her Soul for Revenge. So there's that one. Um, the other books I got um, I love Jennifer Hartman. She does good books. Um, she did Lotus. She did Still Beating. She did, um, there's a couple more that are coming out. I think one is called June. The other one is called Catch the Sun. And so far I have started reading this book and so far it's got orange on it and stuff. Doesn't this book scream fall? Um, it screams October, it screams September, um, but 
yeah, I started and so far it's a great book. I can't put it down and that's part of the, it was part of my TBR part. So yeah, I'm reading this book and it's good. And that's by Jennifer Hartman. I have here The Atlas Six is another one that I want to get to by um, Olivia, Olivia, Olivia Blake or Olive Blake. Um, but yeah. I want to read this book too when I get the chance. This one I heard was funny and it's called The Love of My Afterlife. And this one's by Christy Greenwood. And just the little bits and pieces that I've heard about it already have me laughing. So I just can't wait to read this book. It's supposed to be really good. So that'll be great. We have House of Hollow. And it's um, by Crystal Sutherland. And this is supposed to be a good read too. Heard nothing but good things again. So, can't wait to get into this one. Uh, Lady of Darkness by Melissa K. Rorich. And I bought this blindly. So again, another uh, I got the Ever King, and then I think after buying the Ever King, I ended up getting the Lady of Darkness. It was telling me, it was referring it, you know, to for me to look at it and possibly buy. That thought it would be a book that I would like, so I think they may be right. Now we also have um, Eternal Rain by Carolyn Peckham and Suzanne Van Valentine, and they are the girls who also wrote uh, Zodiac Academy. And I'm almost done with Zodiac Academy. I'm at number eight, the book eight. And um, so this will be the next series I want to get into because I've already read Ruthless Boys that comes before Zodiac Academy. So that's exciting. So I get to read this. And it's called Eternal Rain and it's The Age of Vampires. Next book I just got, and I've been holding on to it, and I haven't read it yet, only because I'm waiting for the audio to come out, because I heard the voice that was gonna portray the MMC on here was Rysan from Port, Port of Rose and Thorns, or Mist and Fury. So I'm holding on to Quicksilver. I heard good things, so I can't wait to read about Kingfisher. I also have Arcane. I think that's how you say it, Arcane. And it's also by Lynette Noni. And the only reason why I bought it was because it was by her. Um, I seen one video about it and I heard it, it, she sold it for me. So I went ahead and bought it to see what it's all about. These two, I believe City of Dreams comes first. And this is uh, by Rebecca Schaefer. And I'm not sure if it's a young adult, but um, it's supposed to be really, it's supposed to be scary. Um, and you're supposed to face your fear and become your nightmare. And the second book is Cage of Dreams by Rebecca Schaefer. And she is as well, uh, this is the second book. And look at the cover, it's just beautiful. I love the colors. So there's that. And these two would go back, we're almost done. The next one I have that I also heard nothing but great things about it, and um, it's called The Study in Drowning. I'm so behind. This was last year, I think, and it was good. A lot of people were saying it was a great, a great read, so I can't wait to read this one. And then I also ordered, that is pre-ordered, uh, Tree of Flames don't remember who it's by but it's supposed to be it was an indie book that got picked up and published so that's why it was like out of stock on Amazon or anywhere else so I pre-ordered it because it's coming out with a new cover and everything and um, but yeah that's that's that book but I also got me Leigh Bardugo's new book uh, the familiar the familiar the familiar the familiar This is Labor Bugles. And to me, I haven't read the back. I just, you know, 
I think of his hand, I see this. I'm thinking vampires, maybe. Who knows? But he's a good writer, so I I'm sure I'm gonna like the book. And the last book is Tress of Emerald Sea by Brandon and Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. I heard this was a great fantasy book as well. And that's it, everybody. Um, of course, I'm sure I'm gonna add more to my cart. Um, that's a definite. That's yeah, it's totally gonna be adding more to my cart, buying more books, because I can't stop buying books because I have FOMO. And um, but that's okay, you know? It's okay to buy books. It's okay if you have the money to buy the books. If you don't, then it's still okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's not, but still, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I love books. I, I think it just opens another door to your imagination and it, they're just amazing. I love them. So anyways, we'll end the video here. Next week, I will go ahead and record my book wrap, wrap up that I did for August. And I hope to see you guys back again soon. See you later. Bye.